Hi guys, Gary here from the Kutukopter Technical Workshop, where we try to show you how to fly your drone successfully and safely. In today's episode, we've got something really exciting, and that is we are going to show you how to save your favorite drop zone using just the switches on the remote and not requiring the use of the application. Stay tuned, this is really fun, really interesting, and we guarantee you, you'll catch bigger fish. Okay, let's tell you how to use this fantastic feature to be able to catch bigger and better fish. So before we actually learn this feature, you should already know how to use your drone. You should be able to fly it, drop baits, and have used it successfully already. So to go forward, what we need is a T10 remote. You're gonna need your fishing drone, and we're going to use our model to show you how we do things today. Now that you know how to fly your drone, having practiced before and watched the previous videos, we will now cover the detail how to save your favorite drop zone just by using the remote. Let's highlight the switches at this point so that you know what you need to do. We will be using F, switch F for favorite, favorite drop zone. We'll be using dial D, for delete, in other words, this is when we want to delete the waypoints, and we'll be using switch E, which is our flight mode switch. Switch E will be used to automatically fly to the waypoint or drop zone that you save. As stated earlier, you need to know how to fly your drone, you need to know how to drop baits in the normal fashion using button B on the remote. Okay, let's start now. Once you've got your drone in a hover with your bait attached, we now decide to fly out in a normal fashion to where we would like to drop the bait. Once we are in our drop zone area, we can then push B, it will drop the bait. And at this point, we decide we want to save that drop zone. We do that by toggling switch F down once and then up once. At this point we can push button A on the remote and the drone will come and land again. That's our first cycle where we've now saved the drop zone. Our first hook and bait is in the water. Or alternatively you may just be putting some feed in that zone and that means you're creating a feeding area to attract more fish. So now that we've set up our feeding zone, we've got our drop zone and our, our favorite drop zone saved, we can now fly our drone to that spot using auto mode. Remember switch E is our flight mode. In the up position it is loiter and we're going to use auto which is all the way down. Take off your drone in a normal fashion and let it hover at about 20 meters. Once the drone is safely up with your line attached and your bait, all you now need to do is click switch E and the drone will automatically fly to the saved waypoint. Once you are now at the drop zone, we just drop the bait in the normal fashion with button B and the bait will drop. Click A and the drone will auto land back at the original landing zone. So in summary, what we have now is we've added a few switches to fly automatically. Switch F will save where you would like the waypoint to be. Switch E will go into auto mode and the drone will fly there automatically. And lastly, dial D, when we swing dial D over, it will delete any previous waypoints. Take note, however, you need to delete those waypoints whilst your drone is in a hover. So at the end of the day or at the beginning of the new day, hover your drone, swing dial D, that will delete the waypoints and then come and land. I think that will help you understand how to use this simple feature of saving your favorite drop zone. And certainly we can guarantee that by setting up a feeding area, you will attract a lot of good fish and be very successful on the day. 
Thanks for watching and we see you in a future episode.